put it on YouTube. There's Great. already a tons of YouTube. Oh, you got it on that? Yeah. I don't, but people. Have... Yeah, okay. uh, All right, here we're Juan Del Rio. Hi, this is the uh, mini sax. It uses an alto saxophone mouthpiece and reed. Um, it's easy to play because you're not blowing a lot of air through it. Uh, the fingering system is just straight up and down. Sharps and flats you can do by partially uncovering a hole like this. And the only difficulty that sometimes people encounter is sometimes when people blow, they tend to bite. If you bite, you shut off the air and the air doesn't go through. And a squeak might happen or no sound. The other is if you blow extremely softly, you just get air. So you're blowing about like how you're blowing across a candle. Then you get the sound immediately. And uh, that's how do you put this together? Okay. The reed. The reed goes even with the end. You hold it with your finger. You slide the ligature uh, ring down tight. If it goes off to the side like it just did, you recenter. You pull hard. To get it off, it's hard to pull off, so you just wiggle it off and you put it back in the case so it doesn't chip. And when the reed eventually wears out, any music store carries these anywhere, any music store anywhere in the world. Um, Fantastic. And, yes. And they come in different they're sizes the, or something? They're all in the same key. They're in the key of B flat, like a tenor sax or a clarinet or a soprano sax. I do have a model that I don't have here, which is a smaller hole model for kids or women with very thin fingers. But again, it's uh, just blowing without clamping down. The sound should happen right from the beginning. If you get air and sound, that means you're blowing soft. If you blow soft, you can get winded, but if you blow harder, the reed vibrates and you need very little air. And that's about it. Thank you.